Pegasus. The wind, Taurus, was my joy, my treasure, still is, always will be. Yes, as for long, the stars in Dura, I, Urania, youngest of the muses, loved him the most, still do, always will. Listen, I tell you his story. Once there was a monster named Medusa. She had snakes instead of hair. They coiled in his dread head. Her face was so horrendous. Whoever saw it turned to stone. This was the fate of all brave warrior who dare to do battle. Then the god sent Perseus, a favorite of theirs, one god lent him sandals with wings, so he could trade on air, flip to this side into that, strike from above, catch Medusa, off her guard. Perseus swung his sword. He smashed all of the snakes into pieces. The goddess Athena lent him a marvelous, mirror-like shield to see Medusa's reflection, so he never had to look her face directly. Athena, however, knew him, guided his hand, then he gave a multi-stroke, cut Medusa's head clean off her shoulders. And out of her blood, yes, for wonders can arise. Anytime, anywhere, a white-winged fowl was born. From his breathing nostrils, he took his first breath. She lifted his head and gave his first joy for nay of being alive. Athena spy on him and watched him frolic. Then she held out a glistening griddle, a brightest burnished gold. She had fashioned it with her own skilled hands. Come, little Pegasus, she called. Pegasus came to him. She slipped the griddle over his nose and led him, flew the sky toward Mount Helicon, our home. It was a lovely spring morning. We nine muses were dancing on our favorite mountain meadow, trying new steps for our sister, Tipsicula, singing a new melody by our sister, Polhindia. We muses, as may have heard, were known for our musical voices, except me, Urania, to tell you the truth. I sang badly. Twice, I would I couldn't carry a tune. A glow came into the sky. A wind gust blew cloud aside, and suddenly, here stood Athena in false splendor. Sisters, hey, she greeted us, Zeus her father as well as ours. A soft tide face appeared under her robe, and that instant won my heart. Athena said, I bring you Pegasus to be your pet and played for a while. You nine be of his guardian. 
He was rich so beautiful. He is a motto, a destined to greatness, said Athena. Teach him as you would other horses, to obey, to be faithful and true. Someday I'll come for him. Meantime, enjoy his company. All we did, we picked him the tastiest grasses we found in the sweetest clay. We all danced in circle around him, and sometimes he danced with us for long. We warned him the garlands of mountains flowers. One evening, my sister were singing to him of his future. You are belong to heroes, sang Malphony. You will do battle, came glory, sang. Talphony, serve Zeus above all, and perhaps someday you'll be invited to Mount Olympus. We laughed, so did the others. All the god and goddess will be there. Pegasus seemed to be in trouble, so he turned to me. I took my celeste sphere, turned it in this way and that, and amazed what I saw. You will arise high even than Olympus. I foretold. Pegasus is immortal, I said. I've seen what I've seen, and my sphere never shown me lies. That night, when all my sisters slept soundly, I flipped out to him. I saw you in the heavens. I threw my arms around his neck. His eyes shone with joy.